Hello and happy autumn. You know, I just love this time of year because it uh, reminds me of new beginnings. Even though as a child, I hated to start school, I was always fearful of what the new term was going to be like, what a new teacher was going to be like, how would I do with the new coursework. And I realized that uh, fear is such an immobilizing force for so many of us. And I wanted to uh, try something a little different uh, in today's video because what I wanted to do is read a poem that I think speaks so eloquently to the issue of fear. A colleague of mine and I were discussing an organization that we're both connected with. By the way, I'm Rosemary Bova, and this is Being with Rosemary. It's a weekly video journal or um, newsletter that comes out um, on a fairly regular basis. And um, what it's intended to do is to share some knowledge or insight that I might be ruminating about uh, to get you thinking and pondering and reflecting on your life so that you can be bold, be brave, and be your best. Because that is what my company, Bova Enterprises, or as I like to say, B, stands for. We are organization development consultants and executive coaching that really helps individuals and their organizations be their best. So the poem my friend uh, unearthed um, the evening that we had been discussing this organization was by Khalil Gibran, and it's called Fear. And I'll read it to you now. It said that before entering the sea, a river trembles with fear. She looks back at the path she has traveled from the peaks of the mountains and the long winding road crossing forests and villages. And in front of her, she sees an ocean so vast that to enter there seems nothing more than to disappear forever. But there is no other way. The river cannot go back. Nobody can go back. To go back is impossible in existence. The river needs to take the risk of entering the ocean because only then will fear disappear. Because that's where the river will know it's not about disappearing into the ocean, but of becoming the ocean. You know, so many of us, uh, when we create a fearful energy about us or we move into fear, uh, immobilize ourselves. We, uh, our whole body tightens, our muscles tighten, our cell cells go into some kind of um, uh, frozen kind of uh, uh, beingness. And um, what happens is our whole body constricts. We tighten up. Uh, we are unable to move. And that tightness, that constriction does not serve us well. So I like to think what Gibran spoke to so eloquently is about, you know, going through your fear and recognizing that you're growing to a new place. You're becoming the ocean. So I'm inviting you to think about how you do yourself when confronted with fear. Fear can be something as simple as just a little bit of an upset because you're getting to meet a whole new uh, group of people that are going to be working with you. Um, but it can also be very big, um, like going into a totally new uh, market initiative or wondering whether or not your company will be one of the ones that is going to be totally disrupted. But it becomes very important for us to be conscious about how we do fear. 
so that we can breathe through it, work ourselves through it, embrace it. It won't go away. In fact, the more we, um, the more we concentrate on the fear, the more solid, in a sense, the fear becomes. If we can just think of it as a, an energy force that is there in front of us, we can imagine ourselves to just walk right through it and be our best. Again, I'm Rosemary Bova, and this is Being with Rosemary. Do visit us at our website, www.bovaenterprises.com. Thank you. Bye.